only there twice this year. What more does she want? Please, Sir Trask. Don't go to the circle willingly. But if... I am sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariane. My boy, Fenrir. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons, calling to him, pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I... betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and... ...dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainreal myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainreal still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainreal has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainreal's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainreal might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages. ...but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. 
You and Fainriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainriel wanted to meet him. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the Circle. Everyone should. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Busy today, I see. I don't suppose you've heard of any work? Not yet. I keep getting lost here. The last time I went to the market by myself, it took me four hours to find my way home. Good to see you again. I don't suppose you... Not yet. So, a lady's... Greetings, my lady. You look like a woman who would appreciate the finest rubies from Antiva raising her lovely neck. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. My lady, I'm a bachelor. I've never met a woman of sufficient beauty and charm to tie Vincento down. <laughs> Please, Sarah. I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. Hmm. Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? Perhaps you can set his mind at ease. We are no Templars, Sarah. You'll find no better friend to a young, scared mage. Maldithune, you are a mage! I suppose you'd be kind, then, to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Of course. The boy is in over his head. So why send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages? A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. I believe you lost this somewhere. I thought this was lost. What makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them.
old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. <laughs> retired? Sounds better than a burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in a choke dab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the Order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though, not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. You abandoned him? I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it, Rainer had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse. Somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark. about to get exciting, you'll get more than your bargains for! Bad people come out at night. It would be good to get rid of them. You know, I might be able to give you a hand with that.
They're so big and grim. What do you suppose would happen if I tickled one of them? Bugger off. Not do that again. I'm not ready to meet my ancestors.
Get a hold of her. Please, help me. Anyone. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. Never would have happened if they hadn't backed that poor girl into a corner. Do you think we can find out who she was? Bugger off. I've never met a dwarf before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic. Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap them in irons and let's see what the Tevinters will pay for them. Answer my questions and I won't trouble you about this little operation. You die now, there won't be any trouble at all. Shut this bitch up.
shows where he should. Scavenging today. On your gun! The danger is past. Are you all right? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though. You're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. You can start making sense any time now. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. I need forward thinkers to help court the Canari. Court the Canari? Make her think of the children. Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I often look at every second idiot and think, he needs more power. I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcasts, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think, maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Your people must have something like that already. Small things, shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. Uh, problem after problem. All right, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly.
You remind me of Harin Prizelvarik, only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories, as you tell stories. Although, none of his begin, no shit, there I am. I'll have to give him some better stories, then. Last one. The strike buys the drink. Messages for the Wardens. Hmm. They'd probably pay to have them returned. Everyone! We're about to be attacked! Enough. Now I 
This doesn't look good. I'm a little overwhelmed here. Anybody! Can't take much more. Oh, this doesn't. Going very bad. If those letters <laughs> make it to the water, who <laughs> Somebody, anybody. I'm a little overwhelmed here. I can't take much Suicidal.
quite the view. Looks like trouble's coming. I was a beast then, a werewolf. I did many terrible things. I... I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, Elf. Of Zafrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish Keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. Is this what your mother would want? But he murdered her! This man may have a wife, children, certainly a family. What will they think of you? Kill him and you become him. You shame me. My mother would not want this. Leave Shem, before I change my mind. Let's make it quick! <laughs> Let's finish the <laughs> 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 
Be careful. Take much more. Oh, this doesn't look good. Martel, help, please. I'm a little overwhelmed here. Oh, this doesn't look good. Take one more step and the boy dies. Tell this dirtbag who we are. If I were you, I wouldn't be threatening the Viscount's son. What? Oh, I suppose you just got a tip from a slaver that he was selling mage flesh cheap. You never thought to ask where he got it? You never wondered if you were buying the Viscount's well-known love child from his elven mistress. The boy he swore to protect, even if it meant raising the entire free marches? I seek no war with the free marches. Take the lad to his father. Oh. That's quite a generous offer. This was the price set on the boy. Please accept it as an offer of peace. 
Who are you? Are you working for the Templars? Your mother sent me. Huh. Hardly a difference. I can't believe her. My whole life it was all, I'll love you and protect you. Then I have some bad dreams and it's off to the Templars. I'm here to help you, Fainriel. Why? You don't even know me. I've spent my whole life protecting my sister from exactly what you fear. Would... Is there any chance you'd help me reach the Dalish? That's where I was trying to go. See if they'd take me in. I'm as much Dalish as human. You'd be alone among the Dalish. Even more than a Dalish would be here. Compared to being held prisoner, or made tranquil? I'll risk being lonely. Look, I know it's different in other kingdoms, but here... No one helps circle mages. Anything the Templars don't like, you get the brand. The Dalish. They've had magic forever. They could teach me. I won't be a danger, I swear. It would be your humanity that marks you among the people. Not your magic. But I think they will take you. Do you think they would have me? Was your mother right? Are you plagued by demons already? I can't say for sure. I have... dreams. There are voices in the dreams. They ask me to come, to give shape to the void around them. But the Dalish Keeper is wise. If anyone can help, she can. Anyone can help, she can. I know the Keeper. I'll make sure she takes you in. Then... she does not hate humans. Oh! You don't know what a relief that is. I knew she could help me. Thank the Creators, you were the one my mother hired to find me. I will forever be in your debt, friend. We should tell his mother. She'll want to know he's alive. I'm a little overwhelmed here. This is going very badly. Matel Malana Salim, help, please. Oh, this doesn't look good. I can't take much more. So... There's no circle among the Dalish. Any child with the gift of magic is apprenticed to a keeper. In another clan if there's no need in her own. That sounds nice. Magic is a gift of the creators. Why wouldn't we use it? It just seems wasteful for humans to lock their mages away where they can't do any good. But you are a blood mage. Help, somebody, anybody. Do not say you are unwarned. I don't even wake Bianca for... Oh, 
hope this doesn't look good. Your family used to be noble, right? By some definition of the term. Do you ever wonder what your life would have been like if you were still nobles? Sunshine, nobility is just an expensive lifestyle. I've already got one of those. Nobles have power too, and responsibilities. Estates, servants, investments. Mercenaries, assassins, <laughs> we've still got all those things. It's sunnier here, and nobody calls me my lord. Your son has taken refuge with the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Kirkwall. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks.